Hello, and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. We're here in Roland Heights, California, installing <clears throat> a new backyard lawn for a client. And as you can see here, we have things pretty much cleared out, getting things ready for the new lawn. And you'll notice we have a bunch of hash marks that are made with gypsum here on the soil and some line out areas that are designating where the uh, landscape edging is going to go. We have one huge rock we're yet to take out. We got to take this rock out here. That's basically part of the landscape that's not going to be part of the landscape. So we have to take that rock out. But as you can see, we're going to do a subsurface drip irrigation system here at this property instead of a pop-up, conventional pop-up system, which we normally install on a lot of our jobs. And it's very unique on how we're going to do this. And um, the type of pipes we're going to use is a Rainbird Copper Shield pipe. This is a very unique pipe. If you can see this emitter here, it has a piece of copper in it. And that copper is called a copper shield. And that particular copper basically prevents the um, roots from intruding into the, the outlet. Uh, this particular tubing is uh, 12 inch spacing, 0.9 gallon per hour um, flow rate, and we have 500 linear feet of this tubing here. And uh, we're going to use that. We're going to bury it basically about four inches deep in the ground. We're going to have a trencher. We're going to have a little small trencher we're going to bring in to trench out the lines and uh, be able to drop the uh, the subsurface pipe into the ground. Each one of these hash marks are approximately 18 inches apart and based on your soil type and infiltration rate of the water into the soil, you have to determine what type of soil you have when you're installing this type of system. And we have basically a silty loam type of soil here and that would basically uh, dictate that we use either a 12 inch spacing between rolls or 18 inch spacing between rows. We can get away with an 18 inch spacing between rows. And so that's what we did back here. I made a, uh, a doohickey that I don't have with me that basically is made out of PVC pipe and I'm able to put it in between the rows and be able to mark out the hash marks. I have one piece that is 12 inches in width and the other one is uh, 18 inches in width. It's basically a, a three quarter inch PVC pipe with an elbow, a 90 degree elbow, with a 12 inch and at the other end it's an 18 inch um, piece of PVC in order to measure the distance between the row spaces. It makes it a little bit easier and faster when we're doing the, uh, the layout here. There will be a header that will go along the side here. This is two inches. It's gonna be basically two inches from the hard surface here of this concrete patio. And it'll be two inches off from the landscape edging that'll be along here. So this row right here is basically gonna be a header. Uh, one side of the header is gonna be like a flush header, which will be a PVC or a poly um, <coughs> propylene pipe that we use. We use the blue lock piping. So we're pretty sure we're gonna use this particular piping right here. Uh, we have three quarter inch pipe that we brought up and I did a pressure test and we have basically uh, 40, about 40 pounds of pressure here. It's coming out between 30 and 40 pounds. So we got more than enough pressure to do what we need to do. And we have our piping that's running around over to our valve setup over here. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We have a uh, hydro rain one inch valves with pressure regulators and filters basically mounted on so the anti-siphon device type and uh, these poly pipes are going over and feeding the, the main lawn area over here and also there's going to be a line a separate line for a drip line for the fruit trees and also over in that area over there is a pers perspective of proposed vegetable garden so we're going to tee off for excuse me for the uh, fruit trees and also for the proposed uh, garden area over there so we did a pressure test to see how much pressure we have to kind of figure out how many zones we're going to need to cover all the square footage we have approximately 1460 square foot of lawn area we're going to be covering 
On this side over here, we're going to do a feed off of this in here. And so your actual feeder header is going to be along here. So this particular line here is going to be the actual header that's going to provide the water for the drip system, self-surface drip. And uh, we have three zones. You see that pink flag over there? That's one zone. And we have another zone that's kind of in between the pink and the yellow. And then this far zone over here is the black zone. Basically, it's a little bit more shade over here. And so we're going to have to uh, designate the run times accordingly because of this oak tree. Uh, when it fills out with leaves, it's been basically trimmed and thinned out, but it casts quite a bit of shadow. And depending on what time of the year it is, it's going to cast a certain shadow. This area over here, this pink zone, is usually always full sun. So we have a particular type of run time we'll have here based on the amount of sun that this area is going to get. Uh, we're probably going to run like between 30 minutes or so for each zone. Uh, back there in the back between the black zone and the yellow, probably a little less because of the shade aspect of it. But um, <clears throat> we'll figure all that out once we get the lawn in and start fine tuning it out. Uh, the header basically is going to be on this side and we're going to have a flush out um, zone over here. We're going to have three flush outs and three air relief valves that relieve the air, the pressure, the air pressure out of the line once the system is turned off. We're going to have those over here. And so it'll be all over in this area here. It'll be uh, gravel in this area and gravel in that area over there. Also on the other side of the, um, the header line, there's going to be a gravel walkway and also back in the back, there's going to be a fire pit area here, back here. So there'll be gravel installed back in this area here. It's like about 630 square foot total with the pathways and the area around the fruit trees. So this is our project here in Roland Heights, California. Ed Walls with Midwest Landscaping. Tips and ideas. Stay tuned as we show you how we install this system. The first step is basically just laying out the grid of how it's going to be, how the um, subsurface drip is going to be laid out. We have a continuous uh, grid here as you see and over in this other zone we have kind of a little different type of grid because of the square footage and then we have this zone over here which basically has a similar configuration as the pink zone but as we get it all completed and dialed in we should have a very efficient and water thrifty landscape by utilizing subsurface drip the benefits of surf surface drips are is paramount and uh, the copper shield technology is really unique. Uh, the Rainbird uh, XS, XFS subsurface drip line with copper shield technology is uh, the subsurface drip line that effectively protects the emitter from root intrusion without the use of uh, any type of chemicals or anything inside of the pipe. Some uh, drip tubing has a chemical that's embedded into the pipe that kills the roots. Um, this particular subsurface drip tubing is the it's going to help result to up to a 70% savings in water. Um, and it's reliable, it's grit tolerant. The emitters resist clogging by using an extra wide flow path. And combined with the self flushing action, each time the emitter is turned on or each time the valves are turned on, it kind of pushes out the any grit or anything that may be involved or inside of the, the drip line. So, it's a little bit about copper, rainbow copper shield technology. We've installed about 40s already. Haven't had any callbacks. Good success. My buddy Mike Garcia of Enviroscape LA installs a lot of them. He's very good and proficient in installing this subsurface drip. He's my buddy, West Side homie. But uh, stay tuned. Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com.